What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another Gun Guide. This is a series where I go into great detail with all of the stats of every one of the weapons in COD World War II. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the Delisle Carbine. Now in real life, the Delisle Carbine is a modified version of a Leanfield Mark III. It's got an integrated suppressor, and it's modified to fire a 45 ACP round. When firing subsonic ammunition, this gun is incredibly quiet in real life. In COD World War II, kind of surprisingly, it falls into the sniper category. It's got a base damage profile of 95. This is before the multipliers, though. Our rate of fire is 48 rounds per minute, which is a little bit on the slow side for the bolt-action sniper rifles in this game, but not quite the slowest. It's right in line with the Car 98K, and with rapid fire, we can bump that up to 51 rounds per minute. Despite the fact that in real life this fires a 45 ACP, which is a pistol cartridge, its one-hit kill potential is equal to the Type 38 Arasaka, the lever action, as well as the Lee Enfield. Keep in mind as well, there is no damage drop-off with the Delisle Carbine, it behaves just like any of the other snipers in the game. So anywhere in the upper torso, arms, neck, or head, you will get a one-shot kill with this gun. Anywhere else, if he's got full health in core game modes, you will get a hit marker. Our aim down sight time is right in between the Car 98K as well as the faster aiming down sight sniper rifles, which are the lever action, the Type 38 Arasaka, as well as the Leanfield, at 400 milliseconds. Same thing goes with our spent out time. As far as I was able to calculate based on my hand testing, this is also 400 milliseconds. Our movement speed seems to be standard for sniper rifles at 95%. Same thing with our aim down sight strafe speed, also standard for snipers at 40%. This brings us to Idle Sway, and based on everything I can tell here, it seems to fall in line with the better category of sniper rifles when it comes to that Idle Sway value. So the Leanne Field, for instance, it seems to have identical Idle Sway properties. As for magazine capacity, it's very respectable at 10 rounds with 50 in reserve, and with extended mags, you can bump that up to 15 rounds with 75 in reserve. This brings us to our reload add time, which is 2.47 seconds, which is not bad at all, especially considering the fact that you don't need to reload this gun very often due to its magazine capacity. Another thing to mention with sniper rifles, at least on the console versions, has to do with our aim assist. The Delisle Carbine, unlike the Car 98K, the M1903 Springfield, and the PTRS-41, has aim assist all the time. Regardless of the division you're using, and whether you're holding your breath or not holding your breath, you will always get aim assist while aiming down sight with the Delisle Carbine. Now this brings us to the final characteristic we're going to talk about today, and this is a very unique characteristic with the Delisle. This is the fact that it has that integrated suppressor, and therefore when you fire the Delisle Carbine, you do not show up on the enemy's minimap. This is completely unique to the sniper category, there's no possible way to suppress any of the other sniper rifles, and this is what makes this particular rifle so special. If you're using this with the Mountain Division, you're just not ever going to show up on the enemy's minimap because you've got that suppressed sniper rifle. You can also run a suppressed pistol if you'd like, and then the Mountain Division keeps you off the radar if they're using a recon plane, and that's one of the big upsides to using this rifle. Now, in order to keep this balanced, though, and to give you a reason to use some of the other sniper rifles like the Leanfield, the Lever Action, and the Type 38, which have the exact same one-hit kill area, this is why I feel they have a very slightly slower aim down sight time for the Delisle. So moving on to my recommended attachments for the Delisle Carbine. Honestly, with this one, anything goes. You really can't go wrong with any of the attachments, although I should say with extended mags, it's really not necessary. A 10-round magazine with a bolt-action sniper rifle is plenty. But if you really wanted to bump that up to 15, by all means, go for it. One of my favorite attachments though, and if you guys have been watching my streams lately on Twitch, you guys will know this, this is the Iron Sight. I really like using the Delisle Carbine with an Iron Sight. It allows me to be a bit more aggressive, and I'm also always staying off the enemy's radar, and I really, really like using this with that Iron Sight attachment. So now let's move on to a couple example classes I have for you guys. First up is that more traditional sniper class. I'm not using the iron sight on this one. We're using the mountain division, so we're always off the enemy's radar. We've got ballistic calibration, extended mags on this, just so I never really have to reload, and FMJ. Our basic training here is going to be lookout to allow us to see those enemy name tags at a much greater distance to help us with that faster target acquisition. Our secondary is a 9mm SAP with extended mags, our lethal is a sticky grenade, and our tactical is a concussion grenade. This one is pretty straightforward, you can swap that out with any other sniper rifle in the game, and you get a similar result, although this is the only one that will keep you off the radar all the time. This brings us to the second class, and this is the one that I honestly prefer using with this gun. With this one, we're using the armored division with ballistic calibration, iron sight, and rapid fire. This is definitely designed to be a whole lot more aggressive, although if you want, you can still counter snipe and pick people off at very long distances because the iron sight is quite good on this gun. Our basic training here is going to be duelist combined with the Enfield number no. 2 with steady aim. Now, if you don't have the Enfield number no. 2, I would recommend the M1911s with duelist because they're pretty much just as powerful. Once again, our lethal is a sticky grenade and our tactical is a stun grenade. 
This has now replaced my lever action iron sight class. I prefer using this gun now with iron sight. It's definitely my favorite sniper rifle in the game to use with an iron sight attachment. And I've been having a ton of fun with this lately. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's gun guide. As always, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of the Dalal Carbine so far? Do you think it's worth having a slightly slower aim down sight time for the ability to have a suppressed sniper rifle? And also, what do you think of it with that iron sight attachment equipped? If you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of Gun Guides, as always, I will leave a link to the playlist down below. I've covered everything so far, aside from the AVS-36, which will be coming very soon. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.